Hey beauties, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Julie and thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hi, I'm Jules and today we're going to be talking about skincare, uh, particularly SPF. Now look, I used to never, ever, ever use SPF because I really didn't believe in it. I mean, I did believe in it, but I really didn't like use it because I wouldn't be out in the sun to begin with. But even if you're not out in the sun, you need SPF because no matter what, when you get to your location, the sun hits you. So no matter what, you will be in contact with the sun. So let's get to this episode of SPF. Is it worth using? Heck to the mother flipping yes. So we're going to go ahead and Google some questions on Google and see what are people's top questionnaires when it comes with SPF. Now I do have a few favorite products when it comes to SPF. Some of them I've learned to love. Other ones, I'm just calling it a day and be like, no, thank you, senorita. By the way, you guys, if you guys do not follow the Sam and Kobe channel, they revamped their channel, which is amazing, the fact that they even did it to begin with. But I actually got one of their merch, and I know I was debating to get it or not, but, you know, Sam had his own merch. So I got it. I think it's such a cool-ass jacket. It's made really good. I already tried it on, you guys. Can't wait for photo shoots. I think it's like a really good made jacket. There is like really high quality. I wish I would have also gotten the black one, which I believe it was a Kobe one, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get started and um, Googling. These are the top search for sunscreen. Okay, so number one, is sunscreen good? Obviously, yes, it is really good for your skin because one, it prevents you from having wrinkles but it also kind of removes the damaging of the spots that you have so they won't get any darker but a lot of my pigmentations especially of all the scarring that i had due to the little tiny bumps are pretty much minimized and the pigmentations are completely gone i would say that my skin's been doing amazing so far which is a plus number two is sunscreen good for acne is sunscreen good for acne yes sunscreen is really amazing for acne because, like I said, due to dark, due to the pigmentation on your skin, you know, sunscreen avoids it to get darker. And if you want to lighten up your skin, not lighten up, but lighten up the skin acne marks, you know, sunscreen will help out a lot. Sunscreen, depending on which one you get, is a little bit oily on the side. So you want to get one that's good for your complexion, good for your skin. I have a few that I like. I am very oily to dry. I have combination skin. It depends on how my skin is feeling here and there. When we are in winter, my skin is dry mostly than oily, but either way, it's mostly oily than dry. Skin problems, you know? Number three, is sunscreen good for your skin? Yes, it's good for your skin. You guys, you need to be using sunscreen. If you're not using sunscreen, then hold up. Let me know in the comments down below because you need sunscreen. And if we need to find little baby samples, we'll bring you some. But you need to be using sunscreen. It is a must to have. All right. Is sunscreen good for dry skin? Yes, sunscreen is good for all types of skin to begin with. So don't be afraid to use it. Never be afraid to put on sunscreen. Again, there's always some hits and miss on sunscreen. You got to find the one that's good for your skin. I have some that are good for my skin that I really, really love. And there's a lot of influences out there that I really love certain particular sunscreens okay is good sunscreen expensive the answer is no you guys there's a lot of really economic sunscreen out there we have the depending on your price range there's some forty dollars seventeen dollars you have some ten dollar sunscreen you have a five ninety eight dollar sunscreen you also have oh that's a huge sunscreen you have twenty one dollars you have the thirty five dollars there's so many variations of sunscreen out there that it's just unbelievable if you're not wearing any should you wash sunscreen before going to bed yes you should wash your sunscreen before going to bed and the reason why is because you know yes wearing the sunscreen you know or sunblock basically during the day protects your skin from being damaged from the sun's rays but you should always wash it off before going to bed and use night cream especially targeting your skincare because if you go to sleep with the sunscreen you know you've been out there the world right now is very polluted here in LA which is like but you want to make sure that when you're going to sleep your skin is relaxing everything's you know being pushed in because if you sleep on the pillow like I do 
you know, you don't want sweat or anything to accumulate and go into your skin and produce acne. So removing your skin, your skin, removing your sunscreen is very important when it comes with protecting your skin. Now, the moment we all been waiting for is the basically the skincare that I use. So I've gone to my few rounds of sunscreen. My favorite thing is when companies give you like little small samples so you could go ahead and try out other styles of sunscreens or moisturizers. Honestly speaking, love you Sephora for that. But you also have Ulta for it. You also when you go to um, the mall, they give you little samples. And don't be afraid if you go to Sephora to ask them for sunscreen samples, you guys. That is like mind-blowing genius idea. You could get three samples, I believe, in Sephora. Now in Ulta, I don't really know how they work out. Um, so Sephora would be your go-to. Okay, so with further ado, um, hi, do you guys like my hair to begin with? Oh, hit the subscribe button to learn more about skincare. Now, I have still not found the one and the only one that I love so much because I have huge standards when it comes with that, but I have found a few that I really actually do enjoy using. And look, these are not within the best small short range these are worth between 20 to 40 dollars which are these two suckers right over here look go to sephora and get a sample trust me and then you'll see which one you like the most i'm thinking of getting the other one um but so far this is actually pretty good i've used almost literally everything i'm like literally like down here which is like crazy because i got it in the beginning of no, I got it mid of last year, so literally this has like less than six months, and it's been like right here. I've used this daily, like daily. Once I go work out, I go ahead and wash it off and then apply it again, and then I go ahead and apply my makeup if I wear makeup that day or not. The new one that I ended up buying that I started having mixed feelings about it, I did like it, but then I didn't like it, but then I did like it again. It's this one, the Urban Skin RX. Now, I've been wanting to try this one so freaking long. This one is for all skin types and it even tones. Now, the reason why I stuck with this one is because I like the fact that it's kind of have like a refreshing feeling on your skin. I do use this one on more of a moisturizer as well. So when I'm going ahead to apply makeup, this is the one that I use because I have noticed that when I go to hikes and I sweat, this one makes my skin go like, I don't know, like I guess it kind of clogs my pores. So I would not use this one for the hike for my skin. I love this one for when I go to hikes. It's literally like prevents my skin from getting clogged pores. And you know, sunscreen unfortunately does clog your pores. So you wanna find one that does not do it and you know, you are gonna have to have multiple ones unfortunately, unless I find the holy grail. If you guys have one that's like the, your holy grail, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to go ahead and purchase it and try it out. Or do the free samples at Sephora and be like, hey, can I have like to try that one? Because the homegirl said in the comments down below that that one was good. So, you know, I always want to try the Fenty one. I've heard a lot of good things about Fenty, but you know, your girl is, you know, <clears throat> yes. The Tula is like on another level. I have two of these two of these little ones and honestly i use them like <laughs> they're like my 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 these are like the beautiful ones ever they give you a beautiful like glow on your skin i don't have it on today so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on so like if you just want to have that effect of like i'm not wearing makeup but my skin looks like you know this is like the the one to go to oh i almost poke my eye Look at this. It's like, like, excuse me, like my skin looks like glass, you know, like this gives you like that skin glass look effect. Like, yo, like you, you look at this, look at this. And this is without it, with and without it. It's just like, it boosts you up. But I did find the price on this one. This is a little bit on the expensive side. So, again, don't be afraid to ask for samples, you guys. Shiseido, pass. Do not grab this one. This one is, like, super oily. It irritates my skin. If you have, like, if you have the little oily bumps on your skin, 
don't go with this one. This one's super freaking oily. And you don't really need SPF 50 to begin with. Anything within a 30 to 40, you're fine. 50 for what? For what? You know, for what? Next, we're going to go ahead and do the CeraVe. Now, look. I'm not a fan for this one. I got the little sample, of course. And then I was like, should I buy the big one? I really didn't like the little sample. So why will I spend my money on the big one? One that I really do love and I actually already ordered is this one right over here. This one you could buy it at Target. You could buy it at Sephora. Oh, actually, no, I think Ulta has it. This this one is the La, La Roche, the La Roche, the La Roche sunscreen. Now, this one does have a slight tint to it. When we went to San Diego, we ended up buying a large one, but my boyfriend ended up keeping it because he needs to be wearing sunscreen. So I said, you know what, you keep it. I got these good ones. And the one that we bought did not have a tint, but I went with tints because, you know, if there's days that you don't want to wear makeup, but you want to have like that nice little flawless skin, tints, it's like a BB cream, but better. Then we're going to go ahead and say that this one is not good. Not good at all. So don't even try it. I have like a crap little samples of these. And honestly, I know why they give them out as samples. They're not good. Don't don't waste your money on those. Do not waste your money. Do not waste your money on it. So for drugstore, I really don't experiment in drugstore. But I mean, I, I first started with this one, with the Avino one. Was it the best? Hell no. I'm going to go ahead and post a few that are the best down here some of them i have tried with little samples of course because samples are the best and other ones i've just worked with in the past and i really do enjoy them i just stopped using them because of the financial issue now one thing i would say i do not believe whatsoever in kind of the spray ones because they have like a chemical to produce to push the gas and you know i i, I don't believe in you using the body ones for the body and the face it's like face is face and body is body you know the percentage and the thickness that you need is not the same it is not the same i hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know in the comments down below what other skincare tips helps or wants you guys need but there's a lot of sunscreen out there that can be formulated to you and what's best for you um, I'll leave the comments down below. I'll leave the comments. I'll leave the link down below if you wanted to purchase this one and this one of where did I get it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.